Hey tubers, me again. Hey, I uh, had a guy asking a question on my channel. One of all my many 15 subscribers. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, the basically the question was is like, how do I know if my carburetor is bad if it needs to be rebuilt? And my philosophy, first of all, is because the things that the kits are so doggone cheap. It only costs like, I don't know, five bucks, less than six dollars. Is like, if you're going to tear it apart that far anyway, just go ahead and replace it, okay? But to answer the, the exact question though, how do I know or what am I, what am I looking for? Basically, it's just going to be stretched out uh, diaphragms. Gasket is a gasket is a gasket. And those that really don't come into play too much. But the diaphragms do. Now, because this thing is so small and it's hard to see, I mean, like this is a pointer right here just to show you, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's whatever. They use the same principle as these little pieces right here are one-way check valves, basically. It allows the fuel to come in one way. Then when the pressure changes, it closes it down so it, that it, it can't uh, go back on itself. So basically, like what you're looking for here is... These are like new um, diaphragms that go into two-stroke carburetors. But like I said, since they're hard to see and I just got this crappy old little camera or whatever. What I did is like um, the same principle applies over here to this carburetor. And this is actually from an old uh, Briggs & Stratton. Uh, it's called a Pulsajet. But it runs on it runs on the same principle as far as, as, far as like... The, the diaphragm goes and the, the one-way check valves so I've got these all loosened up I can get that off of there here is what it looks like in there but now I'm gonna try to get in real close and imagine how hard it would have been with a two-stroke try to get in here real close so that you can see that they're all they're deformed especially the one on the bottom get that to focus right there for you but that one right there is pretty much it's it's bent away whoops and so that's not gonna it's that right there it's not going to be able to perform its duty because and then you can also see over here where the spring and the the, the little part that actually does the pumping and everything. That one's all kind of stretched out. Uh, there's another one that's all stretched out right here. You can see the, the lump in it. And then that's a brand new one. That's what the brand new one is supposed to look like when it goes in. So and it, it's the same thing as these will get deformed inside of a oh man stupid wind these will get deformed inside of a two-stroke carburetor as well so it's just a matter of take the old one off boom grab a new one take and stick it on there just want you to see how they they're supposed to lay perfectly flat See right there if the wind doesn't blow it away how they're laying nice and flat and then this is not all stretched out right underneath my finger so that that's going to cure the problem for uh, on this pulse jet I just I keep a bunch of those things laying around but yeah so like so what you're looking for on uh, two-stroke carburetors is like if there's a big indentation and stuff you can see because of where the all the suction and stuff was, you know, it'd be like right down here in this area. See that big cat, that big cavity right there, that circle in the middle. That's doing a lot of sucking back and forth. So when they're looking nice like that, you know, it's pretty new. It's going to work. No problem. Now, here's the one other thing is like. The manufacturers don't want you messing with these carburetors. They don't want you messing around with the jets, the adjustments, and uh, the needles, and all that stuff. Uh, here's one. 
That one's easily accessible, but it requires a special wrench. We'll get to that in a second. Here's another one. That requires a special wrench, which is different than, than the other one. So they all have a little something. And then also there is... A lot of guys have their own little different configurations of these. Now, I don't do it unless I get permission from the owner. But I like to take those off. Because nine times out of ten, it's just a splined uh, wrench that accesses these. Because they only they allow, it only allows you a half a turn. It's all restricted. That little top, that little tab on the top will only let you go over a little bit and back a little bit so and just my way of thinking but i don't think a chainsaw at you know in denver colorado is going to run on the same fuel air mixture as one down here in tucson so anyways the different um jet adjustments are done with different wrenches and you can get these things off a uh, whatever an Amazon or a store or whatever and the most common ones that that I find that I end up using anyways is this Pac-Man one right here let's see if I can show you what what it looks like it looks like that little bourgeois picture that I just drew right in right up in front of it it's got a little chunk taken out of it and then there's some that are just regular slotted the splined ones have got a bunch of grooves running through it. Single D is just shaved on one side. Double D is shaved on two sides, whatever. But here's all the wrenches that go with them. And then they're they're labeled right on there. See, there's Pac-Man, a little picture. Like, the more you use them, the more you're going to wear the writing off of them. Like, there's, like, double D, but hardly ever see that one or a hexagon. But these are the, the proper tools to do the job. I just always think it's, you know, especially if you're working on them a bunch or anything that's got a small carburetor is going to is going to utilize those. So anyways, basically that's it, guys. You're looking for deformed diaphragms in your two-stroke or your, you know, older four-stroke carburetors. And uh, just replace them. If you got it apart, replace them. It's, like, it's really not too terribly difficult. That's actually like the, that's called the pump side. You watch my other uh, videos on carburetor. So anyways, um, if, if you got a question or whatever, go ahead, shoot me a note, whatever. I'll do whatever I can, you know, to help you out. I try to be as thorough as I can. I know I'm anal and I go over too much. So uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. I am what I am. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.